Welcome back. Still tuned into Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Well, good going for the mid-cap index. The other parts of the market are consolidating at current levels, but some recovery is just underway for the Nifty as well, down just six points as we speak. Uh, but let's uh, move on and talk about the finance ministry that recently set up a committee under former SEBI chairman M. Damodaran to look at ways to scale up PE VC investments in India. This also comes at a time when we are seeing large scale layoffs across startups in the country. Speaking to CNBC TV 18 exclusively at the launch of industry body FICI's model risk code, former SEBI chairperson uh, M. Damodaran spoke about ways to scale up PE and VC investments into India, lessons from layoffs in startups, and regulatory changes needed for ease of doing business as well. Listen in. I think the model risk code is relevant for everyone, everyone who's doing business because it is size neutral. Risk is a size neutral problem. Everyone has risks. And if you recognize that early enough and put in place steps to address it, the company will be better off, the individuals will be better off. So it's relevant for everyone, whether it's a startup or a 100-year-old company, equally relevant. Right. Uh, just to also ask you about uh, the, the need for greater parity. Uh, greater rationality when it comes to taxation or domestic capital. Uh, this has been a demand of many PEVC uh, investors for, from startups as well. How do you see this? Well, we have received as a committee representations from four sets of people. They made presentations to us. Uh, this has been one of their asks. Uh, as to what my thoughts are, I will hold them back for another month or so till we have the report out because we are in this discussion stage. Uh, we've got inputs from a large number of people. The committee itself has considerable expertise drawn from various sources. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at all of this. Our objective is to see how to make life a little easier for people that are actually investing in India. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, I don't want to get into the specifics, but this is certainly one of the asks that the committee has received and is addressing. By when do you think you'll be able to uh, be ready with your report? Our target date is the 9th of December. We are hoping we will make it by that time. Uh, we have uh, had several rounds of discussions among the committee members. And now we are just putting it all together in terms of what we can recommend, what we cannot recommend, because uh, everyone has given us long lists of demands mm. saying that uh, India would be a much better investment destination if all of this was done. At the same time, there are some regulations that are in place for a certain reason. And it's not without reason that regulations or laws got written. Mm. So we have to see whether that rationale still holds. Mm. Even if that holds, is there a slightly lighter touch way to do it rather than keep it in its existing form. So these are the possibilities that we're addressing. Right. Uh, looking at uh, ease of doing business, this has been a big priority for this government. Uh, if, if, you, if we were to ask you about two measures that the government can take to make it easier for uh, companies to invest in the startup ecosystem, make the investment climate more friendly, make India a more receptive place for investments, what could that be? No, I think certainly you've got to look at all the existing regulations and laws and see whether there are any among them that are past their sell-by-date, lost relevance, because you write laws and regulations in a context. Mm -hmm. Has the context changed? Mm -hmm. And, of course, at the back of all of this, we've got to keep in mind the fact mm -hmm. that India needs to see a lot of investment coming from outside of India. So how are you going to make it a little easier mm -hmm. that's exactly what we are addressing okay that's the cnbc tv 18 exclusive just a quick word on the markets a lot of broader market stocks buzzing at this point just keep your eye out on a couple of stocks even which are not uh, directly financial the nbfc space for example lic housing finance is gaining around three odd percent and something like an RBL bank, which is obviously a bank, is up around 6-odd percent at this point in time. So a lot of traction within that space. But even something like a SEAT, BHEL, all of these stocks buzzing around on the upside. Time for a break now. On the other side, commodities. Manisha Gupta, Commodities Editor, will be with us. Stay tuned.